Good evening at 6 p.m. The best variety of gospel use of knowledge is power broadcast with Dr. Marseille Wells Strozier. Information on how to reach Chia will follow today's broadcast. And now, here's your host. Welcome to another wonderful night. For the past 30 minutes, you can... Use of knowledge is power. And as usual, Al, how are you today? Oh, man, I am fantastic. I'm sitting over here messing up. Okay. You sit over here. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, You're, You're human. You're yeah. <laughs> human. Oh, man, I'm hey. messing up. Oh, here. that's all right. I'm glad to see you here. Yeah, I'm glad to see you both of you all Thank today. you Thank so you. very Thank much. You. And, Paul, are you grounding today? I am grounding, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I got my toes up. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> You're so gross. Okay. You're so gross. Oh. For listeners, if you don't understand what gro- if you don't understand what grounding is, is when you're natural with the earth, so you don't wear any shoes or anything. <laughs> you're just walking on the earth. God's given earth, mm-hmm. not the carpet and the cement. I got on the shoes the Lord gave me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. let's move okay, along. Okay, I like a little Lubu perpetration. <laughs> I don't think he got that one. <laughs> no, some of y'all out there got me. <laughs> oh wow! Well, it sounds like tonight is going to be a wonderful night, listeners. Tonight we're going to be talking about the basics of banking. If you are interested in participating in this call, please give us a ring a ding ding at eight one zero two three nine five seven three. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, <laughs> ring a ding ding. <laughs> but please give us a call at 810-239-5733. I don't need to introduce this lady. She has been with us every every single month since we started in June. And I'm so grateful and thankful for her presence and her participation with our not-for-profit. Who is here with us today is Ms. Cheryl Woodyard from Flagstar Bank. So I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. As always, I'm super happy to be here. Glad to share any information that will positively impact the lives of your Mm -hmm. listeners and hopefully help them uh, grow some personal wealth. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Yes, very much so. I am a Robert Kiyosaki girl. Okay. And I love listening to his uh, podcast. Mm -hmm. I listen to it once a week and he talks about wealth building. And right now my life is different where I don't talk about how much I make. Mm -hmm. My thing is my net worth. That's right. And that's a different conversation. So I want to talk to you tonight about different ways in which people can make their money work for them. So what's the first thing you want to talk about tonight? Well, let's let's just start with the basics. Mm -hmm. Um, Everybody should have some time... Hopefully, before the end of this year, I'm putting it out there for you that everyone has a checking and a savings account. Mm -hmm. The checking account, you'll just keep what you need in it to pay your bills and have the occasional shopping trip and groceries, just your, your basic living expenses. Anything above and beyond that needs to be an in an account that is going to be working for you. And Mm -hmm. when I say working for you, I'm talking about you earning interest on the money that is sitting still for you. Mm -hmm. And it's so important to understand that absolutely nobody who has considerable wealth, considerable net value started with considerable net wealth. That is true. Everybody had to start someplace. And what I'm hoping for everybody to understand is if you save even one dollar a week, Mm -hmm. getting into that habit of putting that dollar away and not going back to go and get it just Mm -hmm. because you saw something that you wanted but didn't necessarily need. Mm -hmm. Getting into the habit. Once you get in the habit of putting that dollar away, then start putting $2 away. Put it away. Leave it alone. Don't bother it. Mm -hmm. Let it earn. Mm -hmm. Now, for those people who say, well, gosh, you know, it, it really isn't growing as fast as I want it to. Don't look at it. Just commit. Mm -hmm. to the amount that you're going to put away Mm -hmm. and leave it there. Okay. Now, I will be perfectly honest with you. I know that some of the listeners are are young and you're thinking, I'm I'm living hand to mouth. I I can't do it. 
I'm telling you, start with that $1. Okay. If you're a smoker, you already are, are burning up oh, some of your money. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a smoker, some of your savings is mm -hmm. being burned up every time you mm -hmm. light up a cigarette. Mm -hmm. So looking at it from that perspective, everybody mm -hmm. can start building their own personal net value. And having that checking in, that savings is where you're going to go. Okay. So for... Let's say now you have saved $500. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to move into the next kind of account that is going to greatly benefit you by way of an increase in the, the rate of return that you can get by way of the interest. Okay. And that's a certificate of deposit. Mm -hmm. Now for those listeners out there who remember the days of 10, 12, 13 mm percent, -hmm. let me put this into perspective. If in those days you were earning 10, 12, 13 percent, guess what was also 10, 12, 13 percent? Mortgage rates. Mm. So in our society, we kind of have to be smart about it. And the value of money is directly linked to how much is in motion, who's mm -hmm. borrowing, how, how frequently it's being paid back. So from that perspective, certificates of deposit is safe money. Once you commit to a specific time frame, the bank commits to give you a mm -hmm. rate of return. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you start a certificate of deposit with 500 mm -hmm. and you commit to that, and by the way, we're going to help you commit to it because if you break that certificate of deposit before the maturity date, there is uh -huh. going to be a little tap on the wrist. Mm -hmm. uh, also known as a penalty. Uh huh. So we, and the reason banks do that is to discourage you from breaking that habit of having that money on mm -hmm. hand and in an account where it sort of ties your hands so that you don't want to get to it. It mm -hmm. helps that it helps that money continue to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, money markets serve that same kind of benefit, but the the extra added bonus with a money market is it usually has check writing yes. capabilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it has a nicer rate depending on the rate environment, but it has check mm -hmm. writing abilities, which means a pair of Louboutins could absolutely be purchased. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying it. Let me ask you a question yes. about the CDs, the certificate of deposit. Mm -hmm. What is the interest rates on those right now that you could earn? Well, right now at uh, Flagstar Bank, we are offering for 13 months 2.15 annual percentage yield. I okay. have a 19-month certificate of deposit at 2, <laughs> yeah, 2.35 and a 25-month at 2.55. Now... If you can commit to those time frames, mm -hmm. you're going to earn a considerable amount of money that's going to be above and beyond what your interest would be earned on a savings mm -hmm. or in some of your interest-bearing checking accounts. Mm -hmm. And Flagstar Bank does tend to um, be very focused on helping our clients grow their mm -hmm. wealth and be a part of helping them to ladder their income and okay. ladder their savings so that there's always the ability for some portion mm -hmm. of what they've saved to be liquid. Okay. You want to, you don't want everything locked up. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible position mm -hmm. to be in. Mm -hmm. And you certainly don't want to have to pay a penalty for for every opportunity mm -hmm. to get into those funds. So we definitely recommend laddering. Okay. And when I say laddering, I mean that some money is completely liquid, which would be your checking account, uh -huh. some money in a savings account, mm -hmm. which is liquid but offers a nice rate of interest, mm -hmm. and a certificate of deposit, mm -hmm. which would be committed for a specific time frame that earns an even better rate of return. What is the minimum amount you can uh, deposit in order to open up a CD? For a certificate of deposit, the minimum to open is $500. Okay. And I, I strongly encourage everybody, if you get 
a tax return, one of the people you need to pay is yourself. yourself. Yes. You have to pay you. And you know what? When you said that, when you said that, that made me think about something Robert Kiyosaki said. And he said, when you're paying yourself, people think paying yourself is going to buy you Ooh. a new dress, a new <laughs> pair of shoes. And he said, that's not paying yourself because when you buy a pair of Levi's, you're paying Levi's. You're not That's paying right. yourself. That's right. When you go and buy some, some McDonald's, mm -hmm. you're paying McDonald's. Mm -hmm. You're not taking care of yourself. So he said what you need to do is invest in yourself financially. That's how you pay yourself first. That is the key. And, you know, I wasn't taught that. You know, when, you, when I, I think uh, pay yourself first, oh, well, I'm getting ready to go buy this and buy that. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. financially, you put away for yourself or you purchase something that you're able to invest your money into for you to make your money grow. And I'm glad you brought that up. up I'm glad you brought that up because mm -hmm. that was something I had to learn as an adult, what it meant to pay yourself. Well, I, I know that in, uh, in our current economic environment, uh, everybody feels like I'm not making enough mm -hmm. to put away. And when I give you the $1, start with the $1, get into that habit, mm -hmm. and then you do $2. Mm -hmm. Get into that habit. Saving for your future and paying yourself is a matter of your personal commitment mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. consistent act of putting the money away and not spending it. It is, I will admit, it's difficult to do if you have not, like you were saying, Dr. Mm -hmm. Marseille, if you haven't been taught to do it, this just kind of all sounds like a foreign language. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it's not. Mm -hmm. Start small and build. Become more and more consistent with it. Mm -hmm. Now, for the listeners who have jobs that offer a 401k and you have an employer who is going to uh, also commit a certain amount mm -hmm. that's we call that free money mm -hmm. they're exactly. going to give you money mm -hmm. up to a certain extent most companies now are hovering somewhere around the three to five percent mm -hmm. which means they're going to give you, in addition to your regular paycheck, they're mm -hmm. going to give you a little bit extra toward mm -hmm. your future retirement. Mm -hmm. Absolutely take advantage mm -hmm. of that. That's true. That is before tax money, which means you don't see it, which means you won't miss it. That's true. That's Put true. Put it away. And I can tell you right now, uh, 401ks are more difficult to break into than Fort Knox. So oh, when that you put is it, true. <laughs> yeah. 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 When you put those funds away, they are a way. Yeah. There is uh, a couple of mm -hmm. um, instances yeah. where in uh, perhaps a hardship. Hardship. That's what I had to claim. Or, one. A, yeah. or a medical um uh, issue mm -hmm. may come up and mm -hmm. they might grant that yeah. but the paperwork behind it mm -hmm. you have to prove every yeah. single little thing and it's because um, fidelity or whomever your 401k is placed with they really want you to leave that money there and mm -hmm. truly have a nice nest egg for yourself mm -hmm. so they make it difficult to get to it yeah they do and they but if if the truth be told, they really are trying to help us. That's what that is. Okay. So that okay. that's okay with me. Can we go back on yes. something? Um, I know we may have some listeners who have probably had some financial issues in the mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. and they don't have a savings or a checking account because they can't open up one, and they haven't done any research to find about second chance banks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So can you explain a little bit if you? I know you're saying you need to start with a checking and a mm -hmm. savings account, but for those who have had some problems in the past and they I can't open up a check and a savings account, what can they do to begin the basics of savings? Okay, so the, the first thing for everyone who's listening, if you have had a problem and your account was closed out, but you didn't owe money at Flagstar Bank, we do have a checking account and a savings account for you. Mm -hmm. However, if you had your account closed out because you had 
um, frequent overdrafts that wound up being uh, a deficit that was never repaid. This debt is out there on a system called check systems. And all financial institutions reference this system so that we are making a good decision about who we are going to be opening an account with. But also we want to make certain that if you owe another bank, we encourage you to pay that mm -hmm. bank. If you have proof that you've made the payment, in most instances, we'll be able to help you. Okay. But let's let's be frank. If you are kind of going from bank to bank and burning bridges, you are cutting yourself short in a way that will impact you. Because so many companies right now require you to have a checking mm -hmm. account so that you, they can do direct deposit mm -hmm. of your of your payroll. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing as heartbreaking as when I see someone who has had an issue in the past. Mm -hmm. They have finally gotten a good job. They are ready to make amends and pay back mm -hmm. everything and can't get the yeah. checking account because of that check systems record. There is no getting around it. Okay. Try to take care of your business. Mm -hmm. um, for those clients who... Uh, have a tendency to like to depend on the 800 number or their online banking to reference where their account balances mm -hmm. are, I always say the first person who knows the money that you've spent is you. Mm. Yeah. Even before the computer, even before the mm -hmm. register, the bottom line is I need you to tell me what's going on if your account ha hits a bump mm -hmm. in the road. Mm -hmm. So uh, maintaining that information and knowing how much money you have, what's outstanding, mm -hmm. if you set up an auto bill pay, what date does it come out on, mm -hmm. when does your payroll go in, all of that is information that my team, we all absolutely love helping people good, with that. Good. And the reason why we're so committed to it is because not having the power of that checking account can be crippling depending yeah. on on your situation. So. We have a generation of, how about a generation okay, of I people who don't have checking and savings account, but they go to a corner store. Ooh. And they cash those checks, and they spend a lot of money. Yes. So let's run that. Let's run some numbers real quick okay. here. So you get paid every two weeks, just using round figures. Mm -hmm. You get paid $100 every two weeks, just okay. for the sake of this example. So you go to the corner store, and they want 10% of your check mm -hmm. to give you the cash. So now you've given... $20 a month if you get paid every mm -hmm. other week. That means that by the end of the year, you have given this store 240 of your hard-earned dollars. That's true. Simply because you don't have a checking account. Yep, that's true. How scary is that? Very. I mean, and they're not even going to give you, a, like, a free pop or anything at <laughs> the no end interest. of this. And no interest. No interest. You can't get a bag of chips. It's just wrong. Uh, yes. It's wrong. And I'm saying that we can help. So don't give up on yourself. Mm -hmm. Come in. Have a talk with a banker who will give you that information mm -hmm. and be very frank with you mm -hmm. um, for... For my team, we always give that $100 example. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we do that is because most people think, oh, I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to be able to get one. Mm -hmm. I got a count that was closed out. Don't be afraid. Yeah. There's no judgment here. Mm -hmm. We're here to help, and we care about helping you. Good. There's nothing as fun and as enjoyable as somebody coming in who thought, Oh, I can't. This is not going to work. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen. And then it does. Mm -hmm. Then we start teaching them how to have better financial habits. Mm -hmm. We start helping them to build a nest egg. Mm -hmm. And that's a good feeling, too. Very much so. That is a good feeling. If something happened to my washing machine and I didn't have the money to fix it, mm -hmm. or my stove, or my mm -hmm. refrigerator, or my car, the mm -hmm. thing that gets me to and from that job. If True. I didn't have that, 
I don't know what I would do. Oh, yeah, I do. I would be walking. <laughs> <laughs> the bus pass goes a lot oh, of money. Yes, so yes, walking indeed. is less expensive. <laughs> Callers, if you're interested in this conversation and you want to talk to uh, Cheryl in regarding, what's this? In regarding this topic, please give us a call on. What's the bus passes? Book passes. <laughs> All right now, hold on. We got some bus passes over here. These for me. <laughs> some money in the house. Bus yeah. passes. <laughs> Boy, if you could just see what just happened. <laughs> last week that was a manager from MTA, so okay. I won't say nothing about how these tickets look. But callers, <laughs> if you are interested in this topic and you would like to ask Cheryl some financial questions pertaining to what we're talking about, please give us a call at 810-239-5733. Again, the number is 810-239-5733. So Cheryl, I just wanted to make sure clear mm -hmm. about our listeners, if okay. they were having financial issues about getting a checking or savings account open, what they can do and you gave us that information so now listeners you have a checking and savings account because you handled your business okay you stepped out on faith you believe that um well you first had the desire yes to want to do better financially you stepped out on faith you went to flagstar bank or another institution financial institution and you open it a, a, an account very good all right so now you also sowing seeds into your own account Yes. Oh, listen to her. She's going to preach now. No, I'm not. So anyway. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so anyway, so you're sowing seeds into your account because you're understanding what it means to pay yourself first. Okay. Yes. Yes. And she talked about the certificate of deposit, which a lot of us know them as CDs. It takes only $500. And I, I say only $500 because $500 is not a lot of money nowadays. Now, I know some callers would say, well, yes, it is. Yes, it is. But when you say income tax season, that's I've seen some foolishness go down yes. on. Yes. <laughs> if you watch Judge Mathis, <laughs> yes, yes, some the, foolishness goes down in income tax season. So what's five hundred dollars income tax season that you just cannot deposit it into a CD and let it sit there just for you know? Yes. Even though we're saying some months, it does equate to a year or yes. so. But that is that year. That 13 months, that 19 months of that money sitting still and earning for you, yeah. there is a personal power mm -hmm. that comes from that. There is financial confidence mm -hmm. that grows from the fact that you know mm -hmm. you had that money and you didn't touch it. Yeah. And your money is earning money. There is something really intoxicating about that. It makes you want to do more of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have a question. Yes, oh. sir. Come right on. Now, what's the difference between that and like a Christmas club? Well, a Christmas club is exactly that. You're going to be spending that money at Christmas time. I mean, it's just available to you at Christmas, right? It, it is available to you at Christmas. We also have a vacation club, same thing. Oh. So for, for people who like to go down south for the winter and, you know, go someplace every year, they, you treat yourself good, you put a certain amount away, and at that the specific time of year for Christmas, it, it, the check comes to you in late October, early um, November, and for the spring is when you're going to get your vacation check. The bank will pay you interest on that, and we are going to mail you your proceeds, the money that you have saved. So now, you want to go on a cruise? You find out from the travel agent how much is it going to be. Divide that by 12, and that's how much money you put into that account. Hmm. You set it up. And Who's interest are paid on these? It, it most certainly does. I didn't know that. It's a higher interest rate than normal, right? mm, Not higher, but as good as. So is there a benefit to rolling over a Christmas club? Uh, yeah, that just means you have not touched that money. But if you are going to do that, then I want to see you put it into... That's what I was thinking about. Yes, yeah. I want to see you put it into a different account that's going to earn a higher rate of interest. Mm -hmm. 
If you don't have a checking and savings account with uh, Flagstar Bank, can you open up a CD, a money mark, no, a CD, yes. a money market, or a Christmas yes. Club with you? Yes, you most certainly can. Okay, you most certainly can. Any of the account relationships that you open with us do not have to be dependent on a checking or a savings. In fact, mm -hmm. I have a lot of clients who like our certificate of deposit rates, so they start off with us and that's all they have. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't want to move their checking. They've been mm -hmm. with, and I hear this all the time, I've been with such and such bank for 50 years. Mm -hmm. I always wonder though, if I have a client and they have been with me for 50 years, and they tell me about a rate someplace else, you better believe I'm going to try to figure out a way to match that rate so that they don't have to have five different banks. So the rates are different at different financial institutions? Absolutely. Oh, oh wow. Absolutely. It's almost like gas stations. It uh, seems like they would be much. all the same, but yeah, they're not. Well, I guess well, so. Well, <laughs> and again, I, I want to build relationships with my clients. Mm -hmm. The 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 people who come into my branch, I don't consider them customers and clients. Yeah. I know about their families. Mm -hmm. I know it, wh where they're going on vacation. I know who just bought a house. Mm -hmm. But it's because I am more than just their banker. I'm somebody who cares enough to know that if a topic is mentioned that I can help with, I'm going to share that information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I always say, if you don't know if you have an account, if you have a relationship, and you don't know your branch manager, there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. That's the person you need to turn mm -hmm. to if you have an emergency who can possibly do more for you to help with whatever that emergency mm -hmm. is. Sometimes you need the clout, the pull, the, the support of mm -hmm. that manager. And if you've been in a bank, for a year, two years, three years or more, and you don't know your branch manager, there is something wrong. Wow. There is something wrong. Okay. I go out of my way. Mm -hmm. I want to know who you are. I want to yeah. hear what's going on with your grandchildren. Mm -hmm. I want to know who just graduated from college. Mm -hmm. I, I want to I want to be more than just, where's your money? What are you doing with it? Let me okay. get you a rate. Let me get you a loan. I, it's more than that. Okay. All righty. I know... Um Al, Cheryl used to come over to our Chi Adult Skills Center, and she used to do some different type of workshops for us. And we've also worked with um, Metro Housing mm -hmm. in order to do some financial literacy classes. And not only do we just do basic reading and basic math and GED right. prep, we also do financial literacy classes for our students. Okay. So when she's talking about these things, we also present it there at the Adult Learning Center for our students to be able to, sometimes hearing it is not the same as a person right, right there in front of you telling you about right, the information. Right, yeah. And we're also working with a partnership. Honestly, this really surprised me when they came to me with Legal Services of Eastern Michigan. They're going to be on the show sometime further um, this uh, fall. Mm -hmm. And they want to do a partnership with us that they will come in and provide legal counseling mm. for some of our participants as well. So um, the Adult Learning Center, mm -hmm. the Chi Adult Skills Center, if you're interested in finding out more information about that Adult Learning Center, where you're not just getting basic reading, basic math, and GED prep, but you're also getting financial literacy okay. classes, job readiness training, mm -hmm. and legal counseling. You know, I mean, legal counseling costs a lot That's of money. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That is costs huge. a lot of money. And I was very grateful when they contacted me and asked me about the partnership. And I was like, well, yeah, I'll just provide you the space. Mm -hmm. You can come on in. And you go, mm -hmm. people who are interested in learning more information about a situation they may have and they need to talk to legal advisors. But if you're interested in finding more information out about our Adult Learning Center, please give us a call at 810-553-2140. Again, the number is 810-553-2140. We're getting close to our time ending. But Cheryl, I want to ask you a, a question about yes. a health savings account. Okay. So for those clients who have... Uh, a medical need and they need to have an account so that funds are placed in there 
for the purpose of paying medical bills or a copay or uh, medication. That's what that account is for. And those funds need to specifically be um, spent on those. You, there are um, receipts that need to be kept for tax purposes. And so there, that account is a lifesaver if your copay is a little bit higher or if you are involved in a medical issue that is a little more expensive. Mm -hmm. Having these funds to fall back on is huge. And okay. again, in this market right now, um, insurance is so expensive. It is very it expensive. It is very expensive. And our, the part we have to pay in mm -hmm. is getting to be higher and higher as well. So yeah. these accounts are very important. Very important. Al, 30 minutes is not enough. No, it's not. <laughs> it blew by. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's, I have to uh, find some other money. Oh, you can pray to Al. <laughs> Al, you need to sew in to Chia so we can get some more times. Listener, we're so sorry that we have to end this show for today, but we're asking you to please join us on next Wednesday when we have an excellent speaker about time management. Again, thank you so very much and enjoy your weekend. For the past 30 minutes, you've been listening to Chia Use of Knowledge is Power broadcast with your host, Dr. Marseille Wells-Strozier. You can contact Chia Adult Skill Center at 810-553-2140 or online at www.mychea.org. Join them again.